Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 72nd video in PyQt5 GUI development. So in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create a simple drag and drop application. So uh, you could use the drag and drop uh, features in PyQt5 and create drag and drop uh, example applications. So let me show you, this is the example that we are going to make. I have two queue list widgets and uh, you can for example you can drag uh, these items in your this list widget like this and uh, also the reverse you can drag these in here uh, like this you can do so this is uh, the simple drag and drop application uh, that we are going to design and you can make it bigger like this and you can add so also uh, you need some icons. I have already copied these icons to my working directory. You can use your own icons. So now let's get started. First thing I need, I'm going to import my uh, from PyQt5. Dot uh, Qt widgets import Q application. Uh, import Q uh, widget. Q list widget I need Q list widget also I need a horizontal box layer QH box layout and also I need a Q list widget item so these are the imports that I need okay uh, also I need to import from PyQt5 .qt GUI import Q icon and I want to import the sys okay so now I'm going to create a class window and it inherits from Q widget let me write the constructor methods and def init super dot init okay uh, so these are the object oriented concept you can watch my videos on uh, Python object oriented programming. I have uh, about 10 videos on this. Uh, you can watch them. Okay, now we are going to create our list widget. Uh, I want to create self. Uh, call my uh, list widget one. <coughs> so Q list widget and self dot my list widget 2 and q list widget okay so now we need to set our view model uh, to our list widget 2 solve dot my list widget 2 dot uh, set view uh, view mod uh, to q list widget dot icon q icon mode or icon mode okay so after this now we need to add uh, the drag and drop uh, ability to our list widget so self dot my list widget one uh, dot set accept drops set accept drops and uh, it needs a boolean value and uh, make it true by default it is false you need to make it true and also we are going to do set drag uh, self dot my list widget one dot set drag enabled and make it the true and this was for list widget 1 now we need to do these for our list widget 2 cell dot my list widget 2 dot set accept drops make it true cell dot my list widget 2 dot set drag enabled and also make it true so now we have added the features of drag and drop to our list widget. Uh, now uh, let me just set the geometry for my window. Set geometry and 300 by 350. 
500 and 300 so this is the X and Y position and this is the uh, width and height of our window okay so now we are going to make our layout self dot H box layout and I call it QH box layout and uh, now we need to add our these two list widgets in our horizontal box layout because we want that these two list widgets should be side by side now self dot H box layout dot add widget and we are going to add our first one self dot my list widget one self dot h box layout dot add widget self dot my list widget two okay so uh, now we need to add some items to our these list widgets for adding items we need to create a list widget items so l1 q list widget item and uh, i am going to give my first icon a cpp.png and the text is c plus plus l2 q list widget item q icon so another is uh, also c sharp png guys you need to add these icons to your working directory so i have already copied uh, you can use your own icons and this is c sharp l3 q list widget item q icon and it is java.png and l4 q list widget item q icon and this is python icon dot png okay guys now after creation uh, creating of our uh, list widget item now we need to add these items to our uh, list widget one so self dot my list widget one dot insert item at uh, position one I want to insert L1 so you need to copy this and paste it uh, let me just copy and paste this sorry okay now um and two it is L2 three it is L3 and in the fourth position I need L4 so now the first list widget item uh, we have created now we need to create our uh, list items for our second uh, list list so um, I'm going to create Q list widget item Q icon HTML dot PNG and this is HTML self and now you need to give I want to add this in my uh, my list widget okay self dot my list widget 2 okay and uh, Q list widget item Q icon second one is css.png css self dot my list widget 2 q list widget item q icon uh, the last one is javascript.png javascript.png self dot my list widget 2 so now uh, we are going to just set the window title set window 
title by qt5 drag and drop application and uh, you need to set the layout so dot set layout to each box layout solve dot each box layout and at the end we need to show the window so that show okay now we need to create our application loop so app Q application says dot org v now create your window object window window and says dot exit app dot execute okay so but now uh, this is uh, the complete code don't worry I will add this course uh, this code to the video description you can check my blog for getting this code now let me just run this uh, I have an error Q list on which it javascript.png um, I think I have a problem in the icon. Mm, let me just check this. That where is the problem? So guys, uh, I have problem in here. Uh, I have forgot to add another parameter. So this is my Java script. Okay, now let me just run this. Okay, now this is our simple application, and uh, so let me make it a little bigger. Uh, now you can drag these items in here, like this, and also you can drag uh, these items in your second list widget, in the first list widget. So like this, you can create. Uh, uh, simple drag and drop application you can make it complex uh, so I will add a source code to the video description uh, you can check my blog codeloop.org uh, if you have any questions please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and like the videos